Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 15th, 2021. So today we have Garnet. This is a love crystal, okay? But it's, a, it's like a, a very grounded love crystal and it says ignite your passion. And then we have Angel Aura Quartz lighten up. So, <laughs> so this is finding the light, bringing light into a situation. So again, we've had maybe some turmoil, some things going on that's trying to set us in a state of fear. And this is saying, no, find the playfulness as much as you can. We're not talking denial. We're not talking sidestepping, but where can you tune in and have a deeper understanding of your frequency? Yes. What are you putting out there? And what are you telling yourself that you're single and you can't have passion? Trust and believe there will be no shortage of people out there who will find you beautiful and lovable. If you find that hard to believe, you need to open your eyes, okay? And I say this from a place of authority, and I'm air quoting here, authority, <laughs> because I've been through that. And I've clamped down and thought, oh, you know, I don't know about getting out there. And then once I do open my heart and, you know, allow passion for life to come out. I'm just doing my thing. That's where people can start to come on in and connect with you. Also, I'm not an expert in this area. I'm not a psychologist. Look at attachment styles. Check with an expert or find some information, you know, from someone that you trust. But um, that can be a very interesting dynamic too, whether you push out a partner or whatever, okay? But as far as the garnet goes, what are you passionate about? Again, we were given the example of love, but you can be passionate about anything, okay? And this is a very cleansing kind of energy as well. And they're using the word reset. So there's a feeling here of resetting from fears, disappointments, resentments. Um, make amends wherever you need to. Practice forgiveness so that you're not blocking any of this good energy from coming in, okay? But let me go back. <laughs> there's another love message here. If you are in fact looking for love, this is definitely, or you're trying to deepen a connection with the current love partner, whatever your love situation is, you can have this profound connection through being playful. And again, as I said before, just enjoying your life and not worrying about hunting down a spouse you know how often people come to me and say, when am I going to get married? When am I going to get married? They're so focused on marriage that they don't even ask about being in love. They don't ask about who is an appropriate love partner for me. They just want to be married. Now, that's fine because uh, whether it's your astrological blueprint, your soul's contract, any of those things, you know, there could be a soul stirring uh, moment where you know that your mission, if you want to see it as your mission, is to be married, to have an experience like that that you can learn and grow from. So that could be part of what gets people going down that road, having their marriage house very activated or whatever. But this is asking you to not just focus on, uh, they're saying the agreement of it. Hang with me here. So <laughs> a marriage is an agreement. You don't need to worry about that so much. You know, lighten up from having to lock it down. So that's a message for some of you out there. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the comments on this one. He's taken 10 years and he hasn't given me a rag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, like, but what I'm getting at here is that your emotional response to that you can lighten up about that. You can bring the energy back to you and don't be putting the thoughts into when are you going to do this? When are you going to commit? When are you going to do blah, 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 blah. If it doesn't work for you, well, if it doesn't spark your passion, if it doesn't help you feel playful and loving and enjoying everything about your life, well, then you need to sit and communicate. And once you communicate, then you can take it from there. Okay. <laughs> Pressuring any situation just doesn't do it. But this can be a passion for a project, a passion for your job, a passion for spirituality. Hopefully that's it. A <laughs> uh, passion for contributing as, as best as you can as a human being. Okay. So we have Zadkiel, Michael, openness, hiding. Oh, where to go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> protection. Okay. So Michael is all about protection and openness. Yeah. Look at this. What? 
Okay, listen, I don't mean to get saucy here, but <laughs> some of you need to be more open and speak up about what you want. Okay, and I'm just going to leave it there. And maybe, listen, we're, this could get crazy, this whole message here, lighten up, being playful. Mm -hmm. um, and some of you have been hiding your truth. You've been hiding your fears because there's this whole message here. You know what? There's this whole message here about protection. So there's there might be some fear of expressing your passions or even coming out. Like, again, I worked in a corporate environment and I was like, hey, I kind of do card readings. I mean, I bet they thought I was an idiot. <laughs> I was like, no, for real, try one. I don't know. Try card reading. It's, you know, let's see what you get out of it. But there's some bit of fear here and hiding and hiding who you are and hiding what you really love. And it's time to get rid of that fear. It's time to transmute it. It's time to let the stuff that, you know, all that stuff that's not serving you, let it go away. Yes. Speak your truth. And I got a fuzzy on one of the things here. <laughs> okay. So I'm just listening here. Mm. when we clamp down we're just like really clamping down on what we think we should want you have got to we have all got to free ourselves from that because we're not living our truth we're not living authentically when we keep hiding maybe this is someone hiding how they feel about someone and for them it's a very very deep passion and it's really hard to come out of that hiding and come into the openness. Um, but the saying here, it's okay. Archangel Michael's going to help you have clarity of thought and clarity of speech. Yeah, speaking. And you're protected. And there will be a playfulness around this. So there's a heavy situation for some of you out there. And maybe you think, well, I can't talk to that person because it's just going to lead to an argument. I've been down this road too many times. But you might actually find that someone's very receptive to what you have to say. And humor, yeah, humor can help you get through that discomfort. So don't worry about that at all. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.